That's right when World War II was going on. Welcome back, everybody. Today we get to address the number one asked question. What the heck is with these windows? Where do they go? What's with this chimney? Well, this used to be outside, but about 35 years ago, 35 years ago, 70, it's mid 70s. We got this dated mid 70s, so it's actually uh, 40, 40 years ago. This room was built and was used as a living room. They went as far as even piping in the boiler. There used to be two radiators right down there that I have removed. This is a structural concrete floor. There's a crawl space underneath here. They did a lot of work here. They had the swamp cooler. They had a wood stove here that heated the garage through this elaborate duct work and fans. They never got rid of these windows. I have no idea why. And they even trimmed them out all nice. But uh, we have to make them go away. I had planned to drywall right over this wood paneling. Really fancy wood paneling uh, from, from many moons ago. But it's not attached to the framework of the house very well. It's, it's real loosey. Loosey goosey, you can pull it right off. That's not a good substructure to attach drywall to. This side, completely different. It's actually even different paneling over here versus over here. We'll talk about how that is so much better and so much different maybe in a different video. So I'm gonna get started. I gotta tear this off. Gotta tear it all off. I gotta remove these windows. And what we're gonna do is inside the living room, there's windows that go nowhere. I'm gonna convert those into little niches on each side of the fireplace with little shelves. I don't know if, what type of shelves yet, but uh, that's, that's a project for a different day, completely independent of this remodel. If you've got questions, you need to put those down below. If you've got answers, put those down below as well. Everybody loves a good laugh, so if you've got a good joke, put those down there too. And if you, you didn't know already, this is the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire So a lot of times when I'm demoing houses, there's messages. This one kind of gave me some chills. You think back, 1943, what was going on? The damn war. That's right when World War II was going on. So who was building this house during World War II? I know someone's gonna ask, are you gonna throw this away or are you gonna build something out of it? it I will agree, it's kind of nice, but you can go right down to Home Depot and buy stuff that looks just like this if and when I needed it. Uh, I don't have a place to store it. I don't have the time to refinish it. It just doesn't make any sort of business sense to reuse scrap materials. I just wanted to jump in real quick, kind of explain why I kind of switched gears from the chimney wall to the front wall. It's just the way that I wanted the drywall to line up and using drywall as spacing uh, so that we get good nailing surfaces for the drywall to get screwed to. For the rest of the video, I'll be insulating the front wall and putting the drywall up on the front wall. Back to the video.
All right, it's time. It's time to unload all these videos. So you're gonna be seeing one to two videos a week that are remodel videos. And you're also gonna be seeing a couple product review demonstration videos. Just got done filming one for EcoFlow, uh, where I use the EcoFlow Delta Max and put it to the test with table saw and the welder. If you're interested, uh, that video sh might be out tomorrow. Uh, kind of tune in and uh, see what these things are all about, why I like them, why I use them, what I use them for. Those of you who follow me on my Super Secret Third YouTube channel have seen this one uh, used a lot over the last year, year and a half. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.